We finally have access to the ChatGPT store, the official place to find GPTs that other people have created. So I wanted to show you this first look video at the GPT store. There's some hidden settings I wanted to point out here, and I'll just give you my quick overview of what you could do inside of this GPT store. Okay, right over here to access the GPT store, all you have to do is go to chat.openai.com slash GPTS. Or inside of the plus account, you need ChatGPT plus, the paid version, you'll have explore GPTs. For right now, they decided to only roll this out to paid version of ChatGPT. So the free version doesn't have this at all. This GPT store doesn't exist in the free version. And this is also available to a whole new plan called Teams. So I did upgrade, I did just make a video about that. So if I come over here, I build this thing called a workspace, and this also has Explore GPTs available, which brings you to the GPT store. So now we have the GPT store in our personal accounts, and we have the GPT store in the Teams and the Enterprise accounts as well. And they changed where you create and view your own GPTs up here now. Before, where you just clicked Explore, it took you there. Now you have to go to My GPTs. You have to select that up here to see your GPTs. These are just the new ones I created on this account right now. And then you also have this Create option right over here. And this brings you to where you create your GPT, the GPT Builder. So interesting little change here with where they put these little icons. Underneath that, let me actually go to my personal account. They have this featured section where they list looks like four different GPTs. So some of these, they have very popular apps. So these look like they're from big brands. All trails, I have the iPhone app for, for example. And we got this one, Books, Your AI Guide to the World of Literature and Reading. So it looks like this is created by just a person named Josh here. So that's interesting. That made it all the way to the featured section. Then you have your trending section. I'm assuming this is by usage and the things by ChatGPT. We've always had this in the Explore tab before, but now they organized it over here. And I notice in each category right now, they have about 12 of them that they will add to each category. Oh, except the ones made by GPT. They have 17 of them. These are some that have the DALI functionality turned on to create images, writing, productivity, research, programming, education, and lifestyle. So these are good categories. If you're trying to build GPTs right now, you would probably want to make it in these categories so you could at least have a chance to show up in this top 12 here in those categories. But there is this search option. So if you saved your GPTs publicly, which I showed you all the different things you got to do to do that, and you look up different GPTs, they do appear in the search results. So Canva appears here and look at this 50,000 chats or 50,000 plus chats took place inside of Canva. So you can see next to each GPT, there's a little usage count. So I made one that had a decent amount of usage. Let me look that up. It was called GPT Finder. I made this pretty early on. And there it is mine. So there's a classic GPT by ChatGPT and there's GPT Finder 5000 plus usage by Skill Leap AI. So that's why I like to add my little domain name there because then people could click it and go directly to my website. So if you search for a GPT that you built and it doesn't show up here, there's a good chance that they did not accept it into the public GPT store because you missed some of the settings. So refer back to my video about all the things you need to do to get yours ready for the public GPT store. And you also have this little interesting icon. It's called Global View. And from what I could see is if I have this turned off, it shows me different things in the trending page. So that is a very interesting option. Right now, it looks like, yeah, it does change some of the things that I see in the different categories depending on if I have global view on or if I have global view off. And when you search, the other thing it does is it sorts by usage. So you see Canva, when I look for logo, Canva showing up number one with 50,000 plus chats. And then underneath that, you have different ones. So this logo creator is 25,000 plus. So it's showing up in the trending section, for example, or logo GPT 10K. So not a lot of usage from what I could see. So there's a good chance you still have a really good opportunity before they introduce monetization. In the last video, I pointed out that right now, it looks like they're only going to roll out monetization to the U.S. builders. They usually roll it out in the U.S. first and then globally, or they add regions 
over time, but right now it's not available at all. So if you build GPTs, nobody's getting paid. There is no monetization option that they've shared with us, but it's going to come from this usage. But if Canva only has 50,000 chance, we have a chance. It's not, it's not very crowded just yet, even though they said there's 3 million plus GPTs that have been built so far in the couple of months that GPTs have been around the usage is still on the low side. And I recommend checking out this new plan called Team if you have GPT+. Plus, This might be worth the upgrade depending on how many GPTs you're building, what size of a team you have. So I'll link the video that I just made about Teams that walks you through all the details of that. And I will see you next time.